Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Snowflake. By the end of this video, you would have learned how to create a standard stream for a staging table, how to view the data inserted in the stream, and how you can ingest the data from the stream into the production table. I will start by switching my role to sysadmin and using the database e-commerce underscore db. Inside this database, I will create a new schema called streams underscore test and then I will simply use this schema. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two tables member underscore raw and members underscore prod. The members underscore raw is going to be our staging table where the data will be temporarily stored and the other table is going to be our production table. Next, I am simply going to create a stream for our raw table so that I can monitor and track all the data that is coming into the raw table and then accordingly ingest it into the production table. In the next query, I am going to use a system function stream get table timestamp. This function will give us an offset of the stream. Right now, it should be zero because nothing is ingested and nothing is tracked. So, so far we are good. Now I will insert 5 rows into the members row table and each row will have an ID, a name and fee. Let's have a look at the streams and upon running the query you will see that all the 5 rows that we inserted are present in the stream. And in the stream you can see that the metadata transaction says insert this means that all the data has been inserted. Let's have a look at the timestamp offset and you will see that once again it will be zero because we have not consumed the data from the stream we have only selected it consuming the data means transferring data from the raw table into the production table now i will insert rows into the production table which will be from the rows that are present in the stream where the metadata transaction is inserted upon running you will see that the data has been transferred to the production table and once we run the stream you will see that there are no rows inside the stream that is the stream is empty now if we again look at the timestamp offset we will see that it will give us the timestamp when the data was ingested from the stream into the production table then again i will add three rows into the raw table and upon viewing the stream you will see that those three rows will be present inside the stream now I will update a row in the raw table and upon running you will see that one row has been updated. Let's have a look at the stream and here comes an interesting part. You will see that for the ID 7, the fee is updated to 10 but the metadata transaction shows insert and the metadata update is false. This is because we have not consumed the data from the stream before updating it. Now I will ingest the data from the stream into the production table and upon running you will see three rows inserted. Let's have a look at the stream and once again you will see that the stream is empty because we have ingested data from the stream into the production table. Once again I will update a record from the raw table and upon executing you will see that one row is updated. Let's query the stream once again and in the output you will see something very interesting. Here you can see that we have two records for ID 7, one with the metadata action insert and the other with the action delete. After updating the record, we will consume the data into the production table using merge which is like an absurd in which we define a condition and once the condition is matched, we define a statement which is executed once it is matched and we also define a statement which is executed when it is not matched. Upon executing, you will see that 0 rows inserted and 1 row updated. And finally, I will view the production table and in the output, we will see a total of 8 rows inserted. And this is all about standard streams. Thank you.